let's begin with these random examples let's say you are given eight thousand you are given six hundred and thirty you are given this value let's say one hundred and sixty five thousand okay you are given 0 0.007 you are given 0 0.0066 and you are also given 27.0074 and lastly so we are given 62.341 we are asked to express these values in standard form all right now let's begin with the first example here which is 8000 now to express 8000 in standard form Look at how you're going to do it. Now, you start by going backwards. You start from here. It counts one, two, three. So this place is where our points will be. Now, to write it as standard form, it's going to be eight times ten to the power three. Okay? Now, note that we didn't do something like this. We didn't write it like this. Eight point zero 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 times ten to the power three. If you do it like this, it's somehow wrong because this zero after you must have put the points after it. They are not significant value, so there is no need putting them there. So don't input them there, just write like this is the correct way you should express it. Okay, now having known this, let's go ahead and look at the second example and express it in standard form. Let me write this place. Okay, now for this second example to express it as standard form so you start from here and go again one two All right so it should be six points three times ten to the power two since we've moved two times backward now for this one it's going to be start from here one two three four five so it's going to be one point six five times ten to the power five since we moved five times okay now for this one now that has 0 0.007 so you're going to start from this point and move forward all right so when you move forward, we're going to move how many times one two three since we move three times it's going to be seven times ten to the power negative three all right so when you are moving forward the power of the exponent will be negative and when you are moving backwards the power of the exponents will not be negative it will be a positive number so for this one we are going to move how many times one two three so this one will be six point six times ten to the power negative three whereas this one we are going to move how many times we are going to move backwards for this one so this point is here just move backward and just one so to express this one as standard form it's going to give us two Point seven times okay two point seven zero zero seven four times ten to the power one. Now know that we included the two zeros because these two zeros are in between non zero numbers, so they are considered significant values. Okay, so that's why we put it here. Now let's solve this last example. For this last example, sixty two point three four one to express this in standard form you are going to move backward so once so when you do this you are going to have 6.2341 times 10 to the power was one since we moved backward once now had it been we are having something like this let me show you let's say we have 62.340 and we ask to express it in standard form so when you move once you are backward so the the correct way to express this as standard form will be 6.234. This time I want don't include the zero, all right, because it is seen as a non significant value here. So it will be 6.234 times 10 to the power 1. All right, so this will be the correct answer.